This is difficult to do one-handed, but you have to lift this piece here, which allows you to push back this piece, and you have to push it back as far back as possible. Now, you want to be really careful at this stage that you're not standing in front of it like I am right now, if you have an animal inside, because of course there's a risk that the, the door comes up just enough that the animal shoots out, comes right toward your ankle or perhaps your crotch. Uh, and you don't want that to happen. So I like attaching a wire here that uh, makes it possible for me to stand behind, lift, push back. With my other hand, I've got the wire and then I quickly open and I'm able to keep distance from the opening as the animal bolts out. All right, so now I'm gonna demonstrate how this could be done with one hand if absolutely necessary. Um, and you want this, this wire, if you're using uh, something like that in order to keep distance from the front of the trap, you want this bent backward like this so you're able to use it easily. Again, lift this piece Push this piece back. Now you've got the wire, and as long as that piece is, is pushed way back against there, you're ready to lift. Often you have to put some weight down on the trap and then lift quickly. And out comes the animal. They'll bolt out of there, but your hands will be very far uh, from the front of the trap.